Hi folks, this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant. Yes, Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling. And what you guys are looking at is one of my most prized possessions. Uh, one year, um, while I was at a caricature convention um, with the NCN, National Caricaturist Network, known now as the ISCA, International Society of Caricature Artists, uh, this particular caricature painting here was painted by a fantastically gifted artist called Tomo from Japan. And uh, that's me, the subway surfer. You can see the uh, in the background, you know, where the people hang on to the subway, uh, what are those called? Handles, strap hangers. They don't use those anymore, but that's like a throwback. And you can see all the the train cars <laughs> and pencils in my mouth because I have a habit of drawing with a pencil uh, in my mouth and this is just a fantastic fantastic uh, caricature if you have an opportunity you know to go to an International Society of Caricature Artists convention and you are a caricature artist it will change your perspective on caricature but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, I'm talking from my new studio here, uh, so I will be doing some broadcast from here. The lighting is a little better. That's my children's picture in the background there. You know, they painted that when they were um, four years old. You know, one was four, one was six, and uh, kept that for years. Anyway, I'm not digressing a little bit because I don't have enough time. I want to speak to you today about the subject of rejection and it's based on something that's happened recently uh, thank god it turned out to be not negative um i had a friend of mine i have a friend of mine brilliant artist uh went to the school of visual arts um he wants to get into comic book drawing okay and he has um pretty good concept um Pretty good concept as far as uh, nobody's done it before in comics from what I've seen. And if he follows through on it, you know, I think that he'd be very successful. He'd get a lot of notoriety, you know, and there could be some financial reward following. But there's only one problem, and that is this fear of rejection. Uh, I've known this artist for a number of years, um, going on, I think, possibly 10 years and it seems like um, every time I see him and I ask him how his project, you know, is doing, excuse me, I'm getting coffee here, as usual, um, he's always coming out with the project. And, um, you know, I, I suspect the reason why he's always coming out with the project, always tweaking it, is because of this fear of rejection. What if they don't like it? What if this is not perfect? What if that is not perfect? You know, he has like a hundred and one different excuses of why the project can't come out now. And recently, you know, he had a scare where something happened to his heart, or his arteries were blocked or something like that, some kind of blockage, and he had to go into the hospital to check that out. And as I was talking to him, trying to cheer him up, you know, and everything, I couldn't help but think, man, you know, if this is as serious as you think it is, you know, your life is going to change. It's going to be put on hold. Now all of the time that you had to complete this project, follow your dreams, do all of the running around, do all the illustration, I know that mentally, having been sick, you know, myself, you know, for a period it's going to suck all of the creative energy out of you. And all of your focus is going to be on getting well or wondering if you're even going to live, okay? And, you know, we, 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 we talked that over, and it was a very sobering experience how just giving in to what they say all the time, performing for that unknown, nebulous audience who you're never good enough for anyway, you know, can keep you back from your dreams. And it almost kept this guy back because now he's got this situation to deal with. Now, thank God, thank God, you know, that it wasn't as serious as he thought. Okay? 
And so now he has a second chance. And I really hope he takes it this time because that's one heck of a wake-up call. And, and, and if I was to give you out there any advice, it, it would be this. It's something you already know. You know, I'm not a sage or a seer, but, well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I would say this. Look, life is short. And it's unpredictable. And life happens, you know? It happens all the time. And it happens unexpectedly. And sometimes it even happens devastatingly. You know, and life, you know, means more than just waking up, having breakfast, and going to the bathroom. You know, there are dreams that you guys have that you want to unpack. There are ideas that you want to see put out there in the marketplace on paper. There are messages that you want to get across to people, you know, and you want to have feedback, and you really want to know on some level, is my stuff good enough? Is my stuff marketable enough? And it might not be. There are no guarantees, but you know what? You're never going to know that if you keep letting this fear of rejection keep you down. If you're constantly concerned about what they think, you will do nothing. Your dreams will be put up there on a shelf, just like that picture in the background, you know, and it'll just pile up and then real life will hit you, maybe in the form of an illness, maybe in the form of some kind of financial situation, maybe just You'll just lose your desire. Okay, I don't want that to happen. That shouldn't have to happen to every, anybody. You shouldn't have to live a life devoid of finding out if what you really wanted to do works. Okay, so follow your dream. See where it takes you. At least try to do it, you know, and stop wasting time, you know. You, in a sense, you can do that when you're older. I mean, when you're younger. But when you're older... Yeah, I know, look good for my age. <laughs> but when you're older, time just kind of speeds up a little bit. You know, and it's hard to catch up, you know, to those dreams. So I, my, my, thing, my, my thing that I would tell you guys, especially if you are older and you haven't done it yet, is to do it now. Do it now.